Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. I'm wondering if I did a weird audio thing there. Upper right corner we have Rancor starting as the Grey Zerg. Bottom right corner we have Masuchi starting as the Red Zerg. This time both players setting Overlords cross map rather than to the north-south location. Rancor taking a set so he's able to gain a little bit of ground on Masuchi. But Masuchi is still in the lead with the overall set 3-2. So if Masuchi can win four matches out of this seven, he will advance to the next round. However, if Rancor can take this set, this will go to a seventh and final set, which, because I've <laughs> I'm not sure if I want that or not at this stage. Part of me does, because it's like, this is fighting spirit and we want good games, right? And I knew this was going to be a good set between these guys. But part of me is like, that's a lot of fighting spirit, right? But if this goes to set seven, game seven, I'm gonna feel like a genius. So part of me is like, cause we were allowed to select what, what group we were covering. So if this goes to set seven, game seven, like, yeah. Rancor going for a nine pool here. His standard play, it looks like Masuchi is again going to open up, I assume, with his 12 pool. Oh, is he going to go for it? Oh, is he going to go for a hatchery this time? Okay, never mind. Just a little bit delayed going for the 12th pool. Now we've seen... I'm wondering if Rancor still has the adjustments. <clears throat> that he needed to in the previous matches. He's tacked on the extractor. Really wants to get gas rapidly. Which suggests to me... Potentially he's going to skip... The, well, looks like he is saving larva. No, he's not saving larva. So yeah, I think he's going to go for that in base. Something colony, uh, quick layer build. He's going to, and I think this is an adjustment upon having this overlord not scout a cross path overlord. Which is, I think, an intelligent play. So we see Rancor doing the adjustments on his build order based on what's happening out there. Masuchi dropping that expansion. Learning more and more. That's one thing, as I, I do have to say, having watched all of these EVZ games, I feel like I've learned quite a bit. I feel like I'm learning with you guys. It's great. Except for uh, Rancor, who is out in chat, because he played these games, so he, he already knew, heads up, what he was doing. Rancor currently up two drones, drop the creep colony. Initial Zerglings have spawned. This is going to be eight Zerglings, so it's going to come down to a decent drone drill. And maybe the SimCity will help to defend all of this. This Overlord is going to reveal the location. So initially just a single Zergling moving out because Masuchi doesn't know what he's up against. Single Zergling moving out. Rancor is just happy. So now he knows spawn location. Overlord's making his way across. Masuchi is going to wander up. And he, unfortunately, has not gotten a lot of opportunity to respond to this. Rancor pumping drones completely untouched this entire time. Up to 14 drones and the Spire on the way. 10 Zerglings. Actually, 9 Zerglings with one nearby that is going to get taken out. Second Creep Colony being dropped. Does Masuchi have an adjustment on this? Does he even want to go for the Zergling Flood again? Or does he want to just move straight towards... So he's not creating additional Zerglings. He is moving the Zerglings forward. I'm curious if he's just, just going to rely on having the second gas cap and going to go for an evolution chamber to follow it up. Because keep in mind, Rancor did defend this previously. This is two drones down. Rancor still has the drone lead, but he doesn't have a natural expansion. So he's down in larva overall. Masuchi trying to find a corner to sneak through. It looks like he's opting to just, yeah, retreat now. Lair is just now finishing. As the Spire is about, what do I want to call that? Fifth, five sixths finished? So it is going to be a long period of time before Masuchi has any anti-air. He's had a lot of success doing the turnaround evolution chamber build. The evolution chamber dropping now. He does have a natural expansion. Currently, the drone's just about even. Masuchi's going to have, at least for the short term, some zergling advantages. But critically, this overlord might... Is it going to escape? If this overlord can find some ground... Might work out. Level 1 weapons being researched by Rancor, so he wants to get it done with Mutalisks and Mutalisks alone. Grabbing his natural expansion. This Overlord is going to be intercepted, so that at least is going to be a casualty. Creep Colony 
being dropped. We already have a Spore Colony being morphed at the natural expansion. Rancor now economically behind. But I think once he sees these something con, once he takes out this Overlord, he's free. He does have map control, especially if he can move these mules in position to intercept any Zerglings coming across the map. Should be able to play from there. Masuchi in the red. Now this is turning into a very familiar scenario where Masuchi has opted to get defenses in the air, where Rancor has opted for defenses on the ground. In fact, I don't think we've seen a reversal of this yet. Oh, how do I remove this bit of the minimap? Rather than fuddling with it, actually, can I? What is it here? Display minimap? Yes! Okay, Alt-I. We know what it is now. Gonna get rid of that Overlord in the bottom left-hand corner. So rare that I want to take that one off. So two Overlords down from Masuchi. That is really going to wreak havoc on his economy. And his ability to keep up with Rancor's supply. Rancor droning up behind this. He's still down some drones. Actually adding a couple Mutalisks as well. And again, this falls into the dark arts of ZBZ. The portion that I don't understand, which is how do you know when to build a Mutalisk and when to build a drone? Grabbing his extractor, and really that's the critical bit, is capping that gas. Cap that gas. Uh, can't believe I haven't made that joke before. Eight mutalisks. Has a, has a commentator? Never mind. Eight mutalisks in the air. Additional overlords produced. That has delayed production. It looks like level one armor being upgraded here. And just as that gas is being touched. Masuchi in position. He's just going to wander forward. Getting a little bit of free damage here and there, but also taking a decent amount of free damage on his Mutalisks. He's now up a drone. Does have his natural expansion. Is continuing to build. Now, as I was talking about kind of that macro match, how do we make it exciting? It's a little bit like, maybe it's more exciting in ZVZ just because of how in the dark I feel, to be honest. It's like, will, the, will Masuchi find a way to gain the Overlord advantage? A Zergling flooding through, getting wiped out. I think Rancor, though, has a good lock on this match thus far. He just needs to not fumble anything. Masuchi does have air defense. So what he can do, potentially, is get some Zerglings or some sort of counterattack posed on the line and use Rancor's aggression against him. Full flock of Mutalists now trying to... I think at a distance they can hit this extractor without being touched by the Spore Colony, but they don't want to eat free damage. A Zergling running across the edge of the map just to make sure a sneaky, extract, a sneaky expansion hasn't been grabbed. I like that play. Because, that is because again, yeah, vision, map advantage in Rancor's favor. He can even grab a third base, potentially. That would give opportunities for Masuchi to exploit that he'd have to defend at multiple locations. Level 1 armor, not there just yet. Oh, Drone almost got a kill. Level 1 weapons is online. Level 1 armor to follow. And I, I believe... Might need some correction from the Zerg players out in the chat. But I believe level 1 armor ends up winning against level 1 weapons as far as like a heads-up Muta versus Muta fight. So I, my understanding, I think, is that the Mutalists... But that makes the Mutalists a little bit more effective against Zerglings. And obviously picking off drones, comparatively. Not 100% sure on that, on all the mathematics. Masuchi realizing he needs to do something. Running forward with the Scourge. Like bits of commentator knowledge I don't have yet. Overlord exposed. Some free damage happening there. Now engaged. The Scourge are going to land right there. But Masuchi lost a lot of Mutalisks in that exchange. More Scourge moving forward. Yeah, just was going into an inferior situation as far as just raw numbers. And a drone is now cycling out to go ahead and potentially grab, I think, another base at the 12 o'clock location. Rancor has a sizable supply lead. Most of that in Mutalisks. Two drones up. Yeah, grabbing that 12 o'clock now. Two drones up. A big fleet. And level 1 armor is also about to complete. 
The one advantage Masuchi has is if he can go ahead and move forward and get aggressive, he does have Scourge in the air. And we have not seen Rancor, as far as straight-up engagements, do a good job of microing against the Scourge. So I think Masuchi wants to try to land Scourge to equalize the Mutalisk count disadvantage and go for a win that direction. He's down three drones currently, trying to grab this 6 o'clock, engaging that Zergling in the bottom left-hand corner. So that's going to remain hidden for the moment. This Zergling has spotted all of the Mutalists going to engage. That might catch them out of position. There are Scourge along here. So that's been wiped out. The Zergling moving to the 6th. It is going to find this base. And now Mizuchi potentially in some trouble. Because this is something he needs to defend with an inferior Muta flock, comparatively. Keep saying comparatively. I need to work on that. Mutalists flooding their way down. Engaging here at the 6. Going to force a hatchery cancellation. The drone gets picked off. A re-engagement at a close reinforcement point. The Scourge coming in from the rear. Landing a lot, but another grouping of Mutalists moving in. But with the Scourge, was it sufficient? It looks like yes. Because of a split attack force. Potentially, it might have been enough, but now do the upgrades play a difference? This is going to be close. Four Mutalists left in the air. Six Mutalists left in the air for Rancor. Or for... Bas and Rancor... Actually lost track of who was who there for a second. Rancor holds the Mutalist count. Zerglings were trying to make it to the 12th clock location, but... It's over. Yeah. Game one goes to Rancor. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.